Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me Nikki here to take you on a tour of my pantry and to share with you some DIYs I've done and just give you a status update on my pantry. So let's get started. Okay friends, so many of you have been with me on this journey for several years and you have seen my pantry evolve. And so I wanna take you through now and share with you currently my thought process when it comes to organizing my pantry, how I have it set up and how it functions for me. And I wanna share some tips and DIYs with you also. So to start, you know, I, I see where many people go out and they buy bins and baskets and they're going to organize their, pa their pantry and they're get, they get home and they try to make their items, their food items fit the organizational baskets and bins. And that is just not the best way because it's not really, you're working in reverse. You, you really should plan out your organization for your pantry so that the things that you do buy to organize it fit your needs for the food items that you have. So one for me, I love canisters. I think that they streamline a pantry. You don't have to see all the boxes and food and things like that, because to me that brings on visual clutter. And there's a lot of things that you wanna easily access in your pantry, but if you don't have a clear solution for them, they can be hard to find, such as these little bottles of vanilla extract. So I have a canister strictly for all of my vanilla extract. And I use canisters as casings for my food. So I'll have one for my sugar, I'll have one for my pancake mix, I'll have one for my popcorn. So it's not that it's just dry goods, it could be a variety of items, but it cases the items so that I can easily get to them and it keeps them streamlined, such as the pancake mix. I put a little, I take it out of the box, I put it in the canister, I rip off the instructions, I stick it in the canister, it's concealed and it minimizes the space. And so it's really just a streamlined way of kind of managing the food items that I have within my pantry. Now, I usually have it labeled on the top here, but I took them off because I recently wiped down all my cabinets and I'm changing my labeling system. And I'll share that with you in another video. So the labeling has to go down in another video. Now, moving on, these are my oils and vinegars and, and syrups, and I keep each one in those categories, one for vinegar, one for oils, and one for syrups. And these are Lazy Susans that I actually made myself. I went to Target, I got these bowls, and then I went to Lowe's and I found these Lazy Susan swivel plates, and they are the components needed to make a Lazy Susan. And what I love about this is these are little touches that you can do to put your own spin on your pantry. You may have a farmhouse style, and then you can take wooden bowls and use those. Or, you know, if you have a certain color that you have in the pantry, you can get bowls of that color. So the key is to make sure your bowl has a flat bottom. That way your items sit in there and you can get all of, maximize the space. And then make sure to glue your component for your Lazy Susan onto that bowl. And that is all, it's such an easy task to do. And again, it's just a way to really bring a beautiful touch to your pantry, but bring that function also. And you know I am all about about bringing beauty and function. And so, although I used to have just the typical Lazy Susans that you can find in the um, plastic, I wanted something that just gave a little more oomph. And, and what it does for me is it brings a cohesive feel to my pantry. And again, take that wood bowl, make sure it has that flat bottom, and then you can make your own Lazy Susan out of wooden bowls, out of glass bowls, whatever fits your style. But again, it brings a cohesive look because it matches my canisters and it just upgrades it just slightly, but still gives me the function. And you'll notice I have the Pam and things in the back, but with the Lazy Susan, I can put my beautiful vinegar bottles towards the front, which add to the aesthetic also, but easily accessible, everything is easy easily accessible. Now, up high on the two shelves, I have all of my appliances and I keep my appliances in my pantry. And so you'll notice some are in the bins all up top. Those are the ones that I don't use that often. And then the ones down lower are the ones that I use more. Now you will notice that I have a little toaster here. This is actually new to my appliance collection. I got this off Amazon and I'll link it below, but I thought it was the cutest thing. It was so retro and so adorable. And you will notice I have three crock pots and 
that is intentional because I like to do, when I entertain, I hadn't, it's been a while, but I like to do soup samplers where I put out three sandwich presses and I put out three crock pots with three different types of soups and guests come through and they can sample the different soups. They can create their own sandwiches. And one of the bins holds all of three of my sandwich presses. And so this is something that I use not only for us, but for entertaining. And so I love that I'm able to use that vertical organization space uh, to really save space on that. And I found these bins actually in Target and I love them because they really fit my plants as well. And again, when I was reorganizing my appliances, I measured and I did all that before I shopped because I wanted to make sure whatever solution I got, it would fit all of the appliances that I had. Then I would be confident that it worked for what I needed. Again, making sure that the basket and bins fit my items, not my items fitting the basket and bins. Now these three little bins here where I keep those immediate appliances that I'm always grabbing, you know, like the hand mixer and the immersion blender is another thing that, you know, those small items Items that I'm tending to always grab I put in the smaller ones here and they're easy to pull down my little smoothie maker blender I have here so these are really easily accessible because I use these more than I use the other appliances up top so again you see the ones that are not in bins are easy to grab and go like a crock pot the small ones are in their little bins that are easy to grab and then the less used are at the top and very concealed and streamlined and also it allows you if you have instructions and things like that or components you can keep it all in the basket and you don't have your things all over the place. So if you have a blender and it has attachments, all of it can go in one bin. But again, measure your appliances before you go out and buy the bins so that you make sure you're buying things that actually fits your needs. So friends, that is how all of the appliances are uh, arranged. And I have not used my toaster yet, but I'm excited to use it for the first time. I think it's absolutely adorable. Okay, the next space that I wanna share with you in my pantry is kind of for my bulk seasonings. Now you all know I have a drawer where I keep all of my seasonings, but those core, there are those core seasonings such as pepper, salt, garlic powder, onion powder that I use all the time, every time I cook. And that's what this is, which allows me to buy in bulk when it comes to the seasoning. I use vinegar bottles that I've had. I got these from at home several years ago. They're in one of those Target bowls, but I just pull this out, send it on the, by the stove when I go to cook and I have those core items and I have them in bulk because I like to buy those in larger quantities. And so that's what's here. And I have the back labeled with each one, but I turn them to the back when they're in the pantry so that it looks very streamlined. I am going to use my Cricut to relabel this. And again, I'm going to have a whole pantry relabeling re video coming out soon so be on the lookout for that video but now let's move to the pasta grain kind of section and I love these organizers from Target I've used them for years you may remember them from under my sink and they're perfect for food and they're, they're they're really great for my pastas and cereals and things like that so I keep my pastas grouped together because we're kind of big pasta people and I love that they're in this clear organizer because visually they're you know pasta is a neutral color so it just blends in with the pantry but then I can see when I get low or what I'm missing and then I can have a bigger container for the pastas that I use more often like the um, like the macaroni and then on the top here I have kind of our nuts and also cranberries because Mike and I we like to just um, mix nuts and berries just as snacks a lot of times and this makes it easy for us to create our own little concoction really quick grab a little baggie and create it and so I like to have that accessible for us and then we love our grits we're in the south we love our oatmeal so I keep just what we eat and that's important with the pantry is to just minimize down to really what you eat and what you need to do is when you declutter your pantry you know really take a realistic look at what are we eating as a family and that's the only thing that you want to put in your pantry now I have these bins here where I keep a small amount of box goods and then I have our snacks down here which is great because I take them out of the boxes how many times have you had a box of snacks and then someone in the family eats all of them but they don't throw away the box. And then when you go to get one, you're frustrated because they they have left an empty box. Well, this can eliminate that problem because you can see clearly the snacks and what you have. And then they're sealed off a little bit. So you don't have, you know, it keeps the extra freshness also for the, for the crackers and things once you open them. Now down below, this is where I have my canned goods. I will be reorganizing this in a more kind of cohesive way. So look for that to come soon with that labeling video. And then also look for the metal labels. I'm a container store has my metal labels that I'm waiting to get so that I can label the actual side of my shelf and they're going to really blend in. It's going to make 
make the pantry blend a lot better too. So I can't wait to share with you that pantry labeling video. And then in these baskets, you know I have had these baskets for years. I got them from Target and they were in the bathroom section several years ago. And that's where I keep like my jarred food. I have one for condiments. They're all broken up into categories. So these are all of our like sauces and ketchups and condiments and things like that. And then this one here is for all our sandwich things, our jellies and our peanut butters, our almond butter, our honey. And so when we wanna make a sandwich, all of those items are kind of grouped together in this bin. And that's important to categorize your things within your pantry. And then here's where we keep our bread. And then over here is where we have all of our kind of aluminum foil baggies and things like that. And so as you can see, things are having things are in categories to make it easy and then it's just what we typically eat. I do have this board here just where we can put little notes and then I took an eight by 10 frame and I printed a piece of paper saying our pantry uh, needs and then I framed it here so that we could use it as a whiteboard. The glass serves as a whiteboard. And then a simple hook to hang my apron is here. And that's it friends, that is a quick tour of my pantry and I'm excited to come back and share with you my whole labeling, my new revised labeling system for my pantry. I've kind of cleared everything out and I'm excited to get that put in and implemented and share it with you. I hope you all are doing great. I will see you at the next video and this is Nikki saying goodbye.